people, like Cynthia was saying, they, they just assume, oh, you know, that's the cute little girl from Fred W. You know, we're not going to take her seriously. Or when you're young, for the young people, they might, or when you're older, they might not take you seriously. It's a lot of ageism, sexism, colorism. Um, I mean, it's a lot of stuff that I had to deal with. But you just can't let that stop you. So my transition from being in a girl group to being an actress was really a blessing, and by God's grace, I'm still standing here because if it wasn't for him, I really don't know where I would be. So I can only say I am the blessing. I am not being an actor. Now, Cynthia, I always ask artists when they come through to the studio if you can play anyone, bring somebody to the big screen, who would it be? But you get to bring Harriet Tubman to the screen. So that is for to be made. How did that happen? I, whilst I was at Color Purple, um, the, I think the producers and the writer had come, I didn't know they were coming to see the show, they saw the show. They get this call from my agent to say, these people have come, they've seen the show, they are doing a production of Harriet Tubman and they want to have a talk with you about it. So they came to see the show, they came back again, they sat with me, they spoke with me, I read the script, I had to audition. They, I guess they took to what I had to offer. Um, most of them didn't know I was English until I had spoken to them because the first thing they saw was the, the, the color purple. So they didn't know anything about who I was, they just knew this girl had something. Um, and I happened to be pretty much the same size as Harriet. I was like, Harriet was five foot. Uh, she was tiny, she was very strong, and they knew about her physical capability as well. Right. And she sat to communicate from time to time, so they got me as well as they could do all those things. So, so, so you started filming yet or no? I haven't started filming. No. We, I, I fly up tomorrow to, to start with Harriet. Harriet. You should now do a round of applause. Too, that she's in Widows with Viola Davis. And when does that open? Uh, that opens on the 16th of November here. Okay, make sure. Write that on your little calendar in advance. Put it on your phone. Alright, so that's Widows. And there's one more, Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Look yes. at you. The Bad Times of the L Round, which opens on the 12th of October. Yes. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I gotta ask Latori, is Angela dead? to share with us um, words to our young sisters, our seasoned sisters, on how we can leave this room and carry with us Black Girl Magic Now. Of course, they're gonna be on that performance stage at two o'clock. Make sure that you go and see them perform. But they're gonna give us our parting words. this um, with a little something, just to go back just a little bit. You know, um, although the original, two of the original members are not here with us right now, uh, the black girl magic in that is that there is no ill will uh, from Cindy and I. There never has been. And we as black women, it's, it's time that we learn how to Recommunicate. I don't know if that's a word or not, but I'm gonna create it right now for y'all. <laughs> we need to learn how to communicate with each other. We need to learn how to stand with each other. We need to learn how to uplift each other. And we need to do the work together to elevate each other. That's, that's, that's. And I'm just gonna piggyback on that. That means that when you leave this room, you do something to lift somebody, just one sister up to bed. If, he, if you see her and her hair looks good, you say, girl, your hair is looking good. You never know how much a simple smile, a simple sentence can transform someone's life. They may need that smile. They may need those words. So I'm going to need to hear you all saying, girl, you look good. Where you get that from? She may not want to show you where she got a problem. She ain't trying to look like you, everything, you know. But 
that's what we need. When you leave this room, that is the part of Black Girl Magic. Black Girl Magic is not only something you hold on to, you gotta share it, you gotta give it to other people. So I'm gonna need y'all to leave this room and share all your magic with sisters who are not feeling, who are feeling a little less than today, okay? Are we, are we on the same page? Yes. Very good. Yes. Please give it up for my girls in both. And thank you to AT&T for bringing us this wonderful discussion.